Hello my goblins and ghoul friends, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you see from the title above, I am here to share with you the Kringle Candle Halloween pre-sale information. Now, I will say, this is my first video that I've done in, I can't even tell you how long, where I don't have anything to show you. I just have pictures and information to share with you. Now, today is July 31st, and tomorrow, at 12.01 Eastern Standard Time. So figure out your time zones. Typically, um, 12.01 Eastern Standard Time. Kringle Candle is releasing their Halloween collection for pre-order. Now, what is Kringle Candle? You haven't talked about Kringle Candle on your channel. Yes, correct. Kringle Candle and I have a very long history. Kringle Candle... We have one right here. This is actually a country candle from Kringle, but we'll talk about it. It is the creator of Yankee Candle's son. Yankee Candle. You might have heard them, right? Yankee Candles used to be amazing. Uh, we're getting back a little bit, but it's nowhere like it used to. But their son, Michael Ketridge, created Kringle Candle about 10 years ago, I mean a long time ago, and I remember reviewing Kringle Candle on my channel years ago. I'll link my videos down below, and Kringle Candle has such a nostalgia aspect to the company. I love Kringle Candle. They've sent me a few candles in this past few months to review on my Instagram, but I definitely wasn't into the candle videos as much, but I have gotten into them recently a lot more, as you know. But Kringle Candles Halloween Collection is so sought after. People love their Halloween candles. I love Halloween, and, can and candle time at Halloween is the time. People love candles at Halloween. So, at 12.01 Eastern Standard Time on August 1st, which is tomorrow, Sunday. Kringle Candle will be putting out 16 Halloween candles for pre-order. Slated to ship September 1st, or September, the first week of September. Now, what that means, you're placing your orders, you're paying fully for the candles now, and then they will ship roughly the first week of, August, of September, depending on production. Anyway... This is what they look like. So, I will put high resolution images here for you. This is one of their classic Kringle candle jars. 22 ounces, two wicks. These new formulas will have soy wax that's gray. As you burn it, it's black. The jars are black. They are gorgeous. I mean, look at the size of my head compared to the size of these candles. They are huge. 16 candles. There's six new fragrances. 10 returning fragrances. I have the notes on my phone of all the fragrances and what I feel like I'm going to like, not like, etc. I have all the scent notes here. I am ordering all 16, so as soon as I have my hands on them, I will review them for you. However, the reason why I'm putting this video out now, they won't be available then. They are a pre-order. They only make it a small amount of each one. Once they're gone, they're gone. I will link my friend Bonnie, Queen of the Girl Geeks video down below, talking a little bit more about the candles. She did have them from last year. I did not to talk about the jar styles, etc. But I'm sharing with my audience as well because I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador now. It's a new program they're doing for candle lovers here on YouTube to share a code for you to get 15% off your order, which is super exciting. These candles are $27.95, but you will be getting 15% off, which makes them $23.75. That's a great deal for a huge 22 ounce candle, 150 hour burn time, 100% soy wax, really great candles. I am so excited to get my hands on these. Like I said, these are collectors. People who have the originals are saving them. They don't burn them. I mean, they are collectors, you guys. So that's why I want to share this information with you. By all means, order what you like, order the labels you like, etc. But I want to talk about the 16 candles with you guys today. <coughs> Now, 
as I share these candles, I will put an image of what it looks like. So the first one, Black Cat. I have a black cat. His name is Onyx. He hides a lot, so I can't bring him to show you, but he's sitting over there on his cat bed, but I know if I got up to show you, he'd run away. So, Black Cat. Good things happen when this cat crosses your path. A complex blend of wood, citrus, and musk create a bright fragrance. With spicy cinnamon, clove, cedar, and frankincense. So to me, it's going to be a very spicy, very, very, a little bit of fresh, but real spicy, deep, and warm. Next, candy corn. Who can ever pass by that dish of tri-colored Halloween candy? Nobody. Here's our take on the classic creamy vanilla. Honey and light spice that bedevils every autumnal sweet tooth. Creamy vanilla, sweet honey, and light spice. Obviously, a candy corn fragrance. Look at that label. Look at that jar. I mean, obsessed. Need that. Day of the Dead. A magical elixir of sparkling citrus mingles with spiced florals and rich oriental accords. Citrus, florals, wood, and jasmine. So that one's going to be really fresh, a little bit floral, super interesting. Fright Night. Fiendishly delightful citrus notes swirl intriguingly with rare wood accords to create a fragrance that will drive you batty with pleasure with top notes of fruit, mid notes of patchouli, and base notes of citrus. So if you like those more hippie fragrances, more rich, a little spicy, but fruity, we have that one for you, Fright Night. And again, the jar, like these labels are everything. I'm telling you for Halloween parties, having those jars sit, people are gonna be like, uh, where do you get your hands on those? They're exclusive. It's my favorite word, exclusive. Next, we have Graveyard Night. We've conjured a mixture of citrus and sweet aromas with pumpkin, apple, orange, clove, and vanilla cream. I mean, to me, that sounds like fall in a jar. This is a reformulated fragrance from last year, so I do believe, I haven't smelled the one from last year, but pumpkin, apple, clove, vanilla, to me, quintessential Halloween, and that jar with that pumpkin jack-o'-lantern, oh my god, obsessed. Next, Haunted House. This fragrance will haunt you with warm clove, fresh pine, spice, and floral spookishly brought together. So, spicy, a little bit of pine, so you have that green note, that label, oh my god. Again, all I can keep saying is I'm obsessed, I just want to share this information with you. Again, full disclosure, I've never smelled them before, but knowing Kringle Candle and the history they have, they're all going to be knock your socks off. I'm actually burning blueberry muffin tonight. Love. Next, Poison Apple. One whiff of this enticing scent will transport you to a dream-like state. Apple, bergamot, apple blossom, muguet, which is lily of the valley, jasmine, amber, vanilla, and oud wood. So, not your typical apple fragrance at all. You're getting those florals, but you're also getting amber, vanilla, and oud at the base. So, really rich, really warm. Oh, a little spicy with that apple. Sounds amazing. Witch's Cauldron. Now look at that spooky witch. Oh, oh my god. That label, again, so mysterious. Halloween parties. Oh my god. Say you're trick-or-treating or you give out candy to trick-or-treaters and you have that candle burning on your front porch. Amazing. Primary notes of clove and cedar dance mysteriously with hints of incense, citrus, and other exotics to create this utterly bewitching fragrance. Cedar, clove, and incense. So to me, super woody. If you like those woody, earthy, really dark and deep scents, which is cauldrons for you. Next, Wolfsbane. I mean, two, two moon type fragrances. That sounds amazing. So this one, while folklore suggests this unassuming yellow woodland flower might repel werewolves, we're sure it will delight. Its delightful floral fragrance will have you happily howling at the moon. Floral, amber, and powder. So from reviews that I've seen online, it's like a baby powdery scent, but that amber really makes it deep, dark, perfumey. Super cool. Now those were what? Well, those are the nine returning. Which is the, oh, It's Alive is the other one that's returning, also reformulated this year. It's Alive. Look at that hand coming out of the ground. So cool. Oh my God, guys, these are so cool. 
It's alive. Earthy undertones and fresh herbs amidst the smoke and amber. Green, herbal, smoke, wood, and amber. So you have those green notes, kind of like grassy, earthy. Oh, so cool. Each one is totally different with the notes too, which I'm super excited about. So those are the 10 that are returning from last year. These are the six new ones. Number one, Scarecrow. Does that not give you Jeepers Creepers vibes or what? Yeah, I know. Welcoming the Scarecrow into your house with open arms is a no-brainer. Tobacco, bergamot, leather, and amber. If you know me, I love tobacco-y scents. I love those really smoky scents with leather. Oh my gosh, I mean, so cool, so cool. Next, Nightmare. A nightmarish combination of herbals and florals, or is it just a dream? You decide. Cardamom, green palms, lily of the valley, Oris, violet, musk, cedarwood, amber, and sandalwood. So to me, this sounds like really perfumey, but look at that red hand, like reaching through the candle into the glass. So cool. Next, we have Spectre. Look at that label, you guys, with that skull and that smoke. I mean, that is so spooky. Someone there? A waft of this mostly ghostly scent captivates. Mostly ghostly. Mostly ghostly. Mostly ghostly. I love it. Bergamot, red currant, fig leaves, water lily, gardenia, pomegranate seeds, musk, warm amber, and gal galbanum. I'm not sure what that is. Pomegranate seeds. Interesting. So it's like super musky and dark, but then you have bergamot, fig leaves, and pomegranate. Interesting. Interesting for that, like, skull face. I am mostly intrigued by that because I love the scent of figs. Now... Lady in White. Now this to me, out of all the labels, is the most terrifying. I mean, look at that label. That's freaky. <laughs> but it's cool. All dressed in white, a flicker of light deep in the night. The Lady in White. A pungent but lovely blend of forest greens, woody herbs, and patchouli. Forest greens, earth, herbal, ozone, patchouli, and wood. So again, to me, that sounds very earthy, very like grassy, but almost like I don't want to say like dead flowers, but to me, when it says this pungent but lovely blend of forest greens, I'm very curious, very curious. My nose is ready. Sleepy Hollow. The label, again, Headless Horseman, such a nice label. You guys, these labels are like beautiful photographs. Like, And I know beautiful sounds weird for Halloween, but I mean... Spooktacular. <laughs> it says, don't lose your head over Halloween. Betwixt in the twilight of pumpkin and spices, mug, mug, musk, and smoke. Pumpkin, spices, anise, clove, cinnamon, caramel, bayberry, and sweet smoke. Sweet smoke and caramel sounds interesting to me. So it kind of comes off like it's going to be like a candy-like scent. Almost like the most bakery-like. Pumpkin, spice, anise, clove, cinnamon, caramel, and smoke. I don't know, I don't think if you're like a bakery lover you'll love it, but it sounds like it's going to be really spicy, but the sweet smoke and caramel are going to like mellow it out. I don't know. Sounds really cool. Again, I'm getting them all, so I'll be sure to let you guys know. But don't wait. Then, the last one, Blood Moon. Again, my neighbor, she loves the Blood Moon. She always takes photos on Instagram. I definitely need to might be get two of these, one to gift to her. That label is insane, you guys. And it says, a combination of superfruits within a shadow of earthy notes, our Blood Moon fragrance is a total lunar magic. Cassis, tamarind, cedar, bergamot, pomegranate, blood orange, cassis, clove, incense, acai berry, orange blossom, and wild ivy. So that sounds really fruity. It definitely sounds really fruity. Lots of bright fruits. Cassis, tamarind, bergamot, pomegranate. Again, really like juicy fruits. But then it has clove incense. And then there's orange blossom and ivy. Interesting. Like I said, these notes sound so cool. I, I don't even know. Like, my head is going to explode when these come in, but I just had to show you guys how amazing these labels are, how insane this launch is going to be. I think they're going to sell out super fast. People love their Halloween. They love spooky. They love fun. So 
and they love candles. So I think that's going to hit all the nails on the head. I'm going to play a little clip of all of them at the end of this video so you can rewind. I'm going to put all that information down below using the code DS Yock, which is my name, Drew Steven Yock. So DS Yock, again, link down below, will save you 15% off of your total order. And then any order over $100 gets you free shipping. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Five candles, free shipping. To me, you got to get at least five. I'm just saying. So definitely check them out. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I know this launch is going to be huge, so do not waste time. And until I see you next time, I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Good luck, and happy Halloween. Bye!